Hello everyone. Today we are going to tackle an interesting interview style question. This time we are given a two input sorter, a component that receives two values and outputs the smaller and the larger. Our tasks are A. Build a four input sorter unit using only this two input sorting unit. B. Extend the design to handle six inputs. And C. Optimize the six input sorter. In the first step, we will need to sort four numbers. To do that, we will use multiple two and two sorting units. Let's start by feeding pairs of inputs into two two and two sorters. Each sorter gives us a minimum and a maximum. Now we will take the two maximums and find the larger one. That will be the overall maximum. Similarly, we will take the two minimums and find the smaller one. That gives us the minimum of all four inputs. So now we already know the highest and the lowest value among the four inputs. Let's run an example with the values 3, 5, 1, and 2. After passing them through our sorter, we get the correct minimum and maximum. But if we look closely, the two middle values are not yet sorted. To fix that, we add one more two on two sorting unit between the two middle values. Now we have completed a fully functional four on four sorting network. It correctly sorts all four values using just two on two sorters. Now that we have built a working four input sorter, we can use it to help us construct a six input sorter. To do that, we will combine it within an additional two input sorter. This way, we can handle all six values using components we already have. Just like before, we take the maximum values from the sorters and feed them into another two on two sorter. This gives us the absolute maximum. We do the same with the minimum value to find the absolute minimum. Now we have locked in the smallest and the largest value from all six inputs. We are left with the four middle values which still need sorting. To handle them, we reuse the four input sorter we built earlier. We simply feed these four values into the unit to get them fully sorted. And that's it. By combining the basic 2 and 2 sorter and the 4 and 4 sorter we designed earlier, we successfully built a complete 6 and 6 sorting system. It cleanly sorts 6 inputs using only small building blocks. In this final section, we are asked to optimize the system. In other words, reduce the number of sorting components used. Let's take a closer look on the 4 and 4 sorter. We will now break it back down into its basic two on two components to look for optimization opportunities. Although we can be certain which of the two values W or Z is larger since they come from separate paths, we do know that X is definitely greater than Y based on how the sorter is structured. Let's now try to redesign the 4 and 4 sorter assuming this known relationship X is larger than Y. We are working with four values, W, X, Y, and Z. X is greater than Y. That's our starting point. Since we don't have any prior knowledge about W and Z, we will send them into their own two and two sorter to determine which is larger and which is smaller. Next, we take the larger of W and Z and feed it into another two and two sorter together with X which we already know is greater than y. This gives us the maximum value of all four inputs. Similarly, we take the smaller of w and z and feed it into the two and two sorter with y, which we know is the lowest among its pair. This gives us the minimum value of the four inputs. Now we are left with the two middle values. The output value from the previous comparison that weren't selected as maximum or minimum. We pass them through one final two on two sorter. And just like that, we have fully sorted all four values from highest to lowest using fewer components than the original design. We can optimize the system in different way by analyzing another part of the design. This time, instead of focusing on the right side four and four sorter, 
Let's turn our attention to the left side for enforced order and break it down into its basic 2 and 2 component to look for further optimization opportunities. Looking at the outputs x and y, we already know that x is greater than y based on the way this order operates. But here's a key insight. X and Y are fed again into the next one for sorting unit later on. Therefore, we don't need to determine their relative order at this stage. The comparison will be handled later in the process. As a result, we can safely remove the extra 2 and 2 sorter that was previously used for them. Just like that, we have reduced the design once again. By removing this unnecessary component, we have saved 2 and 2 sorting unit making the overall system more efficient. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with anyone who might benefit. Drop your questions or suggestions in the comments and let me know what you would like to see next. See you next time.